Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O God. Glory to thee, O heavenly King, the comfort of the spirit of truth, who art everywhere and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life. Come and abide in us, cleanse us from every impurity, and save our souls, O good God. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, bless us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Grant victories to the Orthodox Christians over their adversaries. And by virtue of thy cross, preserve thy habitation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O thou who wast lifted up willingly upon the cross, bestow thy mercies upon the new community named after thee. O Christ God, gladden with thy power the Orthodox Christians, granting them victory over enemies. May they have as thy help the weapon of peace, the invincible trophy. Now and ever unto ages of ages, amen. O awesome intercession that cannot be put to shame. O good one, disdain not our prayer. O all him failed to us, establish the commonwealth of the Orthodox. Save the Orthodox Christians and grant unto them victory from heaven. For thou didst bring forth God, O thou only blessed one. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for our Metropolitan Tecon, for our Archbishop Mark, for priests, deacons, monastics, and all of our brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Can we pray for this country as president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces? Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Can we pray for our brothers and sisters, and for all Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Thou art a merciful God, and lovest mankind, and unto thee we send up glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Substantial life created un life creating an undivided trinity, always now endeavor, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, good will among men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, good will among men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will among men. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. O Lord, 
hear my prayer, give ear unto my supplication in thy truth. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. For in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath humbled my life down to the earth. He sat me in darkness as those that have been long dead, and my spirit within me has become despondent. Within me my heart is troubled. I remember days of old, I meditated on all thy works. I pondered on the creations of thy hands. I stretched forth my hands unto thee. My soul thirsted after thee like a waterless land. Quickly hear me, O Lord, my spirit hath faded away. Turn not thy face away from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for in thee have I put my hope. Cause me to know, Lord, the way wherein I should walk. For unto thee have I lifted up my soul. Rescue me from mine enemies, O Lord. Unto thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. For thy name's sake, O Lord, shalt thou quicken me. In thy righteousness shalt thou bring my soul out of affliction. And in thy mercy shalt thou utterly destroy mine enemies. And thou shalt cut off all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. Hearken unto me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Hearken unto me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. In peace, let us pray, O Lord. salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this holy house, and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Metropolitan Tikhon, for our Archbishop Mark, for the honorable priesthood, the diaconate of Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for our armed forces serving everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. every city and countryside, and for the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Weather, for the abundance of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. That we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us. And keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Number eight, our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. Father, and to the 
Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. In the night my soul rises early for thee, O God, for thy commandments are a light on the earth. Tears, 
But as thou art deeply compassionate, grant me forgiveness of sins. Come, O wretched soul, and together with thy body confess to the Creator of all, so that henceforth thou shalt abstain from thy past foolishness and offer tears of repentance to God. Have mercy on me, O God. Having rivaled the for first form Adam by my transgressions, I have found myself stripped naked of God, of the everlasting kingdom, and of all its delights because of my sins. Woe is me, O wretched soul, for thou art become like the first Eve, for thou hast looked in wickedness and was bitterly wounded, for thou hast touched the tree and rashly tasted the forbidden fruit. physical Eve, the temptation of Eve has taken flesh in my mind, showing me what seems to be sweet, but making me taste and swallow bitterness. Adam was rightly banished from Eden, O Savior, because he disobeyed one of thy commandments. What then shall I suffer for constantly rejecting thy words of love? mercy on me, O God. murder, for I have murdered my own conscience by cultivating my flesh and making war upon my soul's awareness by my wicked actions. I have refused to imitate Abel's righteousness, O Jesus. Never have I offered thee any acceptable gift or godly work, neither a pure sacrifice nor a blameless love. wretched soul, if we have offered to the Creator of all, only our defiled actions, a polluted sacrifice, and a useless life. As a potter molds his clay, thou hast fashioned my flesh and my bones, giving me breath and life. Now accept me in repentance, O my Maker, and Redeemer, and my Judge. to thee, O Savior, all the sins I have committed in the wounds of my soul and body, which my murderous thoughts like these have inflicted upon me. Though I have sinned, O Savior, yet I know that thou art the lover of mankind. Thou dost chastise with mercy and art fervent in compassion. Thou dost see my tears, and thou dost run to meet me like the father towards his prodigal son. Mercy on me, O God. I lay prostrate now before thy gates, O Savior, O cast me not into hell in my old age, but before the end comes, grant me remission of sins, as thou art the lover of mankind. I am the man who fell in among robbers, and who now lies wounded in body, beaten and bruised because of my thoughts. But come to me, O Christ, my Savior, and heal me. first saw me and passed me by, then the Levite looked on me in my distress, but despised my nakedness. But do thou, O Jesus, Son of Mary, come to me and take pity on me. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of all, take from me the heavy burden of sin, and in thy compassion grant me tears of repentance. Time for repentance has come, and I draw near to thee, O my Creator. Take from me the heavy burden of sin, and in thy compassion grant me tears of repentance. Reject me not, O my Savior, neither cast me away from thy presence. Take from me the heavy yoke of sin, and in thy compassion grant me remission of sin. Savior, all my 
transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary, known and unknown, whether done in knowledge or in ignorance. And as God have mercy on me and save me, from my youth, O Christ, I have rejected thy commandments, being entirely ruled by my passions. I have passed my life in indolence and sloth. Therefore I cry to thee, O Savior, even now at the end, save me. Like the prodigal, I have squandered all my riches and riotous living, O my Savior, and I, left, I'm, I am left barren of virtue and piety. But in my hunger I cry, O bountiful Father, run quickly out to meet me and take pity on me. I fall down before thee, O Jesus, for I have sinned against thee. Be merciful to me. Take away from me the heavy burden of sin, and in thy compassion grant me tears of repentance. Enter not into judgment with me by recalling all of my deeds, demanding an account of all my words, or by examining my motives and desires. But in thy compassion, O Almighty One, disregard my terrible past and save me. illuminating grace for on high given thee by divine providence that I may escape the darkening of the passions and fervently sing of the thrilling achievements of thy life, O Mary. By submitting to Christ's divine laws thou hast drawn near to him, O Holy Mother Mary. And by forsaking thine unbridled longings for pleasure, thou hast gained as one all of the godly virtues. O venerable Father, through prayer to God for us. thy prayers, O Andrew, deliver us from degrading passions, and make us with faith and love seeing of thee partakers now of the kingdom of Christ, we pray. O renowned Father, glory to the Father, into the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Super essential Trinity, adored in unity, take from me the heavy yoke of sin, and in thy compassion grant me tears of compunction. Intercessor of those who sing of thee, take from me the heavy yoke of sin, and as thou art our pure lady, accept me a with thy merciful eye, and accept my fervent confession. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have sinned above all men, I alone have sinned against thee, but as God take pity on thy creature, O Savior. A storm of passion surrounds me, O compassionate Lord, but stretch out thy hand to me, as once thou didst to Peter. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I offer to thee, O merciful one, the tears of a harlot. Cleanse me, O Savior, in thy compassion. I have darkened the beauty of my soul with passionate pleasures, and have turned my whole mind entirely to dust. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. 
I have torn the garment that the Creator first wove for me in the beginning, and therefore I lie naked. I have clothed myself in the torn robe, torn robe that the serpent had spitefully stitched for me by his counsel, and now I am ashamed. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I looked upon the beauty of the forbidden tree, and my mind was deceived, and now I lie naked and ashamed. The demons of passion have plowed long furrows on my back, prolonging their wickedness upon me. Plunged into the depth of sin, thou didst raise thy hands, O Mary, towards the merciful God. And as to Peter in his loving kindness, he stretched out his hand to thee in help ever seeking thy conversion. Turning from the path of sin, thou dost run with all eagerness to Christ, O Venerable Mother Mary, finding nourishment in the trackless wilderness and fulfilling in purity the commandments of God. So before the end, let us fall down before him with tears and cry. By the prayers of Andrew, O Savior, have mercy on us. Unoriginate, uncreated Trinity, indivisible unity, accept me who repent, save me who have sinned. I am thy creation, despise me not, but spare me, and deliver me from the fire of condemnation. Spotless Lady, Mother of God, hope of those who run to thee, the haven of those in distress, obtain grace for me from the merciful one, thy Son and Creator. By thy disgrace of thy neighbor, keeping thy face turned away. Thou hast not inherited the blessing of Shem, O my wretched soul, nor hast thou received, like Japheth, thine inheritance in the land of forgiveness. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Depart from sin and from the land of Haran, O my soul, and come to the land that Abraham inherited, which flows with incorruption and eternal life. Thou hast heard how Abraham in days of old left the land of his fathers and became a wanderer. Imitate his strength and resolution, O my soul. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. The patriarch entertained the angels of the oak of Mamre and inherited in his old age the reward of promise. Thou knowest, O my wretched soul, how Isaac was mystically offered as a new sacrifice and whole burnt offering to the Lord. Imitate his strength and resolution, O my soul. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. Thou hast heard how Ishmael was driven out as the son of a slave. Beware, O my soul, lest the same should happen to thee because of thy sin. Thou hast become like Hagar the Egyptian, O my soul. 
For of thine own free will, thou hast become enslaved and had given birth to contempt as to another Ishmael. shown to Jacob, reaching up from earth to heaven, O my soul. Why then hast thou not set foot upon the firm step of piety? Imitate Melchizedek, the priest of God and solitary king, who was the image of Christ among men in the By the tempest and the billows of sin, O Mother Mary, but do thou rescue me and lead me to the safe haven of divine repentance. O Venerable Mother Mary, pray unto God for us. Offer thy fervent supplications to the compassionate Mother of God, O Venerable Mary, and through thine intercessions open unto me the door that leads to God. O Venerable Father, Andrew, pray unto God for My thy prayers grant me release from my debts. Debts, O Andrew, Bishop of Crete, for thou art an unsurpassed guide to the mysteries of repentance. Uncreated unity, unoriginate nature, praised in a trinity of persons. Save us with faith, worship thy power. Mother of God, unwedded, thou gavest birth in time to the timeless Son of the Father. And, O strange wonder, thou remainest a virgin, wanderishing level of ascent. Thou hast rivaled the hated Esau, O my soul, for thou hast given up the birthright of thy first beauty to the deceiver, thus forsaking thy father's blessing. Twice then hast thou fallen, once in action and once in understanding. Repent now, thou wretched soul. Saul was known as Edom because of his raging love for women, for burning always with desires and stained with sensual pleasures. He was named Edom, which means the red-hot heat of a sin-loving soul. That was heard of Je Job, O my soul, who was justified on a dung heap. Yet thou hast not imitated his courage, nor hast thou shown any firmness of will in the face of thy trials and temptations but has proven cowardly and weak. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. He that once sat upon a throne now lies naked on a dung heap covered with sores. He that had many children and was once admired by all is suddenly left bereft of children and is left without a home. 
Yet for him the dung heap is a palace, and his sores a chain of pearls. Job, the righteous man of great possessions, with an abundance of riches and cattle, was clothed in royal dignity and crown and purple robe. He was suddenly deprived of his wealth and kingship and glory, and reduced to the state of a beggar. If he who was righteous and blameless above all men could not escape the snares and assaults of the deceiver, what wilt thou do, O wretched and sinful soul, when some sudden misfortune befalls thee? My body is corrupt, my spirit is defiled, and I am covered with swords. But as physician, O Christ, heal both my body and my spirit through my repentance, Wash me, purify me, and cleanse me, O Savior, and make me whiter than snow. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Thou hast offered thy body and thy blood for the sake of us all, O crucified Word, thy body to renew me, thy blood to cleanse me, and thou hast given up thy spirit, O Christ, to bring me to the Father. That was work salvation in the midst of the earth, O compassionate Lord, so that we might be saved. That was voluntarily crucified upon the tree, and Eden has been opened once again. All creation, both the things above and the things below, and all the nations have been saved, and they praise and worship Thee. In this life, in the body, O Venerable Mary, thou dost receive great grace from God. Therefore, protect us who honor thee with faith, and through thy prayers we entreat thee. Deliver us from every attack of the evil one. Thou, though thou brought down into the abyss of great iniquity, Though brought down into the abyss of great iniquity, thou dost not remain there, O Mother Mary, but through thy steadfast intent, thou hast ascended to the heights of virtue, astonishing even the angels. O Andrew, glory of the Father, standing before the transcendent divine trinity, by thy prayer, cease not to intercede that we who invoke thee with love may be delivered from torment. O divine intercessor, adornment of creed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy I confess thee to be undivided in essence, unconfused in persons, one triune divinity, co enthroned and co reigning. I sing to thee the great song, thrice sung on high. Thou givest birth and dost live a virgin life, and in both remainest a virgin by nature. He who is born of thee renews the laws of nature, and a womb gives birth without travail. For God wills the order of nature is overruled. For he does whatever he wishes. Keeping vigil through the night, O oh lover of mankind, I pray thee and pardon me, and guide me in my commandments, and teach me. divided the sea and dried up the abyss as an image of the divine and holy cross. Through the cross thou canst also accomplish great things. While Aaron offered to God a fire that was pure and undefiled, 
Hophni and Phineas brought to him, as thou, as this thou, O my soul, a strange sacrifice and a polluted law. Come like Janus and Jambres, the magicians of cruel Pharaoh. For my will is heavy and my mind is drawn beneath the waters. But do thou come and help me. Wretch that I am, I have soiled my mind with filth. But cleanse me, O my master, I pray thee, in the waters of my tears. And make the garment of my flesh as white as snow. Examine my deeds, O Savior, I see that I have surpassed all men in sin. For I have sinned not in ignorance, but consciously and with understanding. Spare, O spare, the work of thy hands, O Savior, I have sinned, forgive me. For thou alone art pure by nature, and none save thee is free from defilement. God, let us take on my form for my sake, O Savior, and to accomplish miracles, healing the lepers and the paralytics, and stopping the issue of blood when the woman touched the hem of thy garment. Imitate, O wretched soul, the woman with the issue of blood. Run quickly to Christ and grasp the hem of his garment, so that thou mayest be delivered from all thine afflictions and hear him say, Thy faith has saved thee. Imitate the woman who has bowed to the ground on my soul and fall at the feet of Jesus, that he strengthen thy back to walk upright in the steps of the Lord. As thou art a deep well, O Master, pour out the streams from thine immaculate wound, that like the woman of Samaria, I may drink of thy streams of life and thirst no more. With incomparable love, O most blessed saint, thou didst yearn to venerate the tree of life, and thou wast counted worthy of thy desire. Make me also worthy to obtain that glory from on high. the Jordan, thou dost find peace by escaping the temptations of the flesh. Deliver us also from them also, O Venerable Mother Mary, through thine intercession. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thee, O Trinity, we glorify the one God. Holy, holy, holy art thou, Father, Son, and Spirit. Simple being, unity ever adore. Now and ever and of From thee, O pure maiden, mother and virgin, God who created the world and ages, was clad in my clay and united to himself, human nature. sinned against thee, O God, have mercy on me. Thou hast turned thyself away from thy Lord, O my soul, as did Dathan and Abiram. But cry out from the lowest depths of hell, spare me, that the earth may not open up and swallow thee. Amen. 
like a stampeding calf on my soul, but rather save thy life like a gazelle fleeing from the snare on the wings of action, resolve in contemplation. Let the hand of Moses assure us, O my soul, that God can cleanse and make us again as white as snow, a leprous life. So do not despair, though thyself, thou thyself art leprous. sins, O oh Savior, returned and have suddenly overwhelmed me, as the waters of the Red Sea engulfed the Egyptians of old and their charioteers. Like the Israelites in the desert, thou hast made a foolish decision, O oh my soul, for thou hast preferred the pleasures of gluttony and passions to the refreshment of divine manna. wells of delusion to the cleft rock from which, as from a chalice, flows rivers of divine theology. Thou hast preferred, O my soul, the meat of swine and the tempting food of Egypt to the food of heaven, as did the ungrateful people of old in the wilderness. Have mercy on me, O God. When thy servant Moses struck the rock with his staff, O Savior, he mystically foreshadowed thy life-creating body, from which we all draw the water of life. Be like Joshua, the son of Nun, and explore the promised land, O my soul, and take up thine abode in it through obedience to the Lord. Fire, O Mary, thou hast shed copious streams of tears that quench the burning of thy passions. O grant them also unto me, thy servant, these tears of grace. Through the perfection of thine earthly life, O Venerable Mother, thou hast acquired heavenly freedom from thy passions. Pray that we who sing thy praises may also be delivered from our passions through thine intercession. Eminent as the foremost of pastors, O wise Andrew, I pray to thee with great love and veneration that by thy intercessions I may obtain salvation and eternal life. Glory to the, the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The O Trinity, we glorify the one God. Holy, holy, holy art thou, Father, Son, and Spirit, simple being, unity ever and Your maiden, mother, and virgin God, who created the worlds and ages, was clad in my clay and united to Himself, human nature. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.
Adam drawing healing from the air, the devil grievously smit and lamented as it were a calamity, and cried unto his accomplices, What shall I do with Mary's son, the Bethlehemite? For he is everywhere present and fills all feet. Paradise on the cross when he cried to thee, O Christ, remember me. Make me unworthy as I am also worthy of his repentance. Have you heard my soul of Manoah of old, who saw God in a waking vision? and receive from his barren wife the fruit of God's promise. Let us imitate his piety. You, my soul, have emulated Samson's easygoing laxity. You have shorn the glory of your deeds, and by love of pleasure have surrendered to the Philistines a chaste and blessed love. Conquered the Philistines with an ass's jawbone is now found to be a dissolute slave of passionate intercourse. But avoid my soul's example, his action, his laxity. Barak and Jephthah, military leaders with the manly minded Deborah were promoted to be judges of Israel. Learn courage from their heroic deeds, my soul, and master yourself. You know, my soul, of Jael's bravery, who impaled Sisera of old, and wrought salvation with a pen, tent peg, by which are you listening? The cross is typified to you. Praise my soul, offer action as a daughter purer than Jephthah's, and slay your carnal passions as you sacrifice to your Lord. Think, my soul, of Gideon's fleece, receive the dew from heaven, stoop down like a dog and drink the water that flows from the law by the pressure of study. You, my soul, for lack of understanding, have drawn up upon yourself the priest Eli's condemnation by allowing the passions to act sinfully in you as he allowed his children. among the judges by negligence divided his wife among the twelve tribes my soul in order to blaze in the lawless outrage of Benjamin Chase Hannah when praying moved her lips in praise while her voice was not yet heard but yet, though barren, she bears a son, her prayer deserves. Hannah's child, the great 
Samuel was reckoned among the judges, and he was brought up in Arimathea in the house of the Lord. Imitate him, my son, before judging others. Judge your own actions. Was royally anointed with the horn of divine oil. So if you, my soul, desire the kingdom on high, be anointed with the oil of tea. Have mercy on thy creation, O merciful Lord, and compassion on the work of thy hands. And spare all who have sinned, even me who above all have ignored thy commandments. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Unoriginate both by generation and procession, the Father who be God I worship. I glorify the Son who is the begotten, and I him the Holy Spirit co radiant with the Father and the Son. thy supernatural birth without dividing the nature, natural glory of thy child, O Mother of God, for he is confessed to be the one in person and to fold in nature. rejected thy commandments, for in sins I have progressed, and have added sores to my wounds. But in thy compassion have mercy on me, O God of our fathers. I have confessed to thee the secrets of my heart, O my judge. See my humility, and behold my affliction, and consider now my condemnation. But in thy compassion have mercy on me, O God of our fathers. Once when Saul went searching for his father's lost herds, he found himself proclaimed as king. Be watchful, O my soul, lest while searching for thine animal desires, thou shouldst overlook the kingdom of Christ. David, the forefather of God, once sinned doubly, O my soul, being pierced with the arrow of adultery and struck with the spear of murder's remorse. But thou, my soul, art more gravely ill than he, for worse than any acts, are the urgings of thy will. Mercy on me, O God, and mercy on me. David once joined sin to sin when he mixed adultery with murder, yet then he showed at once a twofold repentance. But thou, my soul, hast done worse things than he, yet hast thou not repented before God. David once composed a hymn, setting forth as in an icon all the evils he had done, and he condemned them, crying, Have mercy on me, for against thee only am I sinned. O God of all, cleanse me. Have mercy on me, O God, and mercy on me. Thou hast heard of Absalom, how he rebelled against nature, Thou knowest of his wicked deeds, and how he defiled his father David's bed. Yet thou hast followed him in his passionate and sensual desires. Thy free dignity as thou enslaved to thy body, O my soul, 
For thou hast found in the enemy another of Hittifel, and hast become an accomplice to his designs. But Christ himself has shattered his bonds, so that thou mayest be saved. Solomon the Wonderful was full of grace and wisdom, yet he too committed evil in the sight of heaven and turned away from God. And thou, my wretched soul, have followed him by thine accursed life. Carried away by his sensual passions, he defiled himself. Alas, Solomon, the lover of wisdom, became a lover of harlots and estranged himself from God. And thou, my soul, hast imitated him through thy shameful desire. Raising thy cry to the most pure Theotokos, thou hast driven back the fury of the passions that had violently assailed thee, putting to shame the enemy that tempted thee. But grant thy help to me, thy servant, in this my time of trouble. Pray to him whom thou hast desired, and for whose sake thou hast exhausted thy flesh, O Venerable Mary. Pray to Christ for us, thy servants, that he may show mercy on us all, and grant peace to those who worship him. O Venerable Father, on the rock of faith by thy intercessions, O Father, and wall and fortify me with an odd sense of the divine indwelling, and grant me repentance, O Andrew, now, and I implore thee to deliver me from the snares of foes, actively seeking my love. Simple and undivided, of one essence and one nature, lights and light, three holies and one holy God, the Trinity is Him. But sing my soul and glorify the life and lives, the God of all. We sing of Thee, we bless Thee. Praise thee, O Mother of God, for thou gavest birth to one of the inseparable Trinity, the one Son in God, and to us on earth, thou hast opened the heavenly city of Zion, imitate his life of lamentation, therefore, and be saved. Jonah fled to Tarshish, foreseeing the conversion of the Ninevites, for as a prophet he knew of God's compassion, and was anxious that his prophecy be fulfilled. Stopped the mouths of lions in the pit, and now the three youths quench the fiery flames of the furnace of faith. I have set before thee the names of people from the Old Testament to serve as examples of my soul. Imitate the God pleasing deeds of the righteous, and flee from the sins of the wicked. Righteous 
judge and savior, have mercy on me and deliver me from the fire and from the punishment that I deserve to suffer at the judgment. O oh, grant me thy forgiveness before the end, through my practice of the virtues and through my repentance. Like the thief I cry, remember me. Like Peter I weep, forgive me. Like the publican I cry, have mercy on me. And like the harlot I weep bitterly, O Savior. Accept these my lamentation, as once thou didst accept those of the woman of Canaan. Savior, the corruption of my humbled soul, and as the one physician apply the healing salve and oil and wine, and the works of repentance, compunction and tears, like the woman of Canaan, I cry to thee, have mercy on me, O son of David, like the woman with the issue of blood, I touch the hem of thy garment, and I weep as Martha and Mary wept for Lazarus. As precious myrrh, O Savior, I empty on thine head the alabaster jar of my tears, and like the harlot I cry, beseeching thy mercy, I offer thee my supplications, and I beg thy forgiveness. Spare the work of thy hands, O Savior, and as the shepherd, seek the lost sheep that has gone astray. Snatch me away from the wolf, and make me as a lamb, safe among the sheep of thy pasture. Mother of the eternal light, have illumined thee and freed thee from the darkness of passions. Therefore, having received the grace of the Spirit, O Mary, enlighten even us who praise thee now with faith. O Venerable Mother, Mary, pray unto God. Beholding in thee a new wonder, O Venerable Mother. The holy Zosimus was truly amazed, for he saw an angel in the flesh, and was filled with great astonishment, praising Christ unto all ages. As thou hast boldness for the Lord, O Andrew, venerable credit of Crete, Intercede, I implore thee, that by thy prayers I may now find release from the chain of my sins. O teacher of repentance, glory of sin. Eternal Father, co-eternal Son, gracious Comforter, Spirit of Truth, Father of the Divine Word, Word of the Eternal Father, living and creative spirit, trinity and unity, have mercy on us. As from scarlet silk, a spotless virgin, within thy womb the spiritual purple was woven, the flesh of Emmanuel. Therefore we honor thee in truth, as the mother of God. We praise us and worship the Lord, singing and exalting him throughout all the
Do not be dismayed, O my soul, when the enemy attacks thee. Drive him away through prayer and fasting. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. Christ suffered temptation, being tempted by the devil, who showed him stones that he might be made into bread. And he led him up into a mountain to see in an instant all the kingdoms of the world. Be careful, O my soul, when thou art tempted. Be watchful and pray every hour to Christ our God, the forerunner of God, the dove of the desert, the lamp of Christ, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, was heard preaching repentance while Herod was lying in sin with Herodias. Be careful, O my soul, that thou art not trapped in the snares of the wicked, but rather embrace repentance. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. The forerunner of grace went to dwell in the wilderness, and all of Judea and Samaria ran to hear him. They confessed all their sins, and eagerly they were baptized. But thou, O my soul, hast not imitated them. Marriage is an honorable estate, and the marriage bed is undefiled, for Christ blessed both by eating at the wedding feast in Cana and turning the water into wine, thus revealing his first miracle, so that thou, O my soul, might be transformed. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. Christ cured the paralytic who then took up his bed. He raised from the dead the widow's son and the centurion's servant. He appeared to the Samaritan woman and taught thee, O my soul, how to worship in the spirit. By the touch of the hem of his garment, the Lord healed the woman with the issue of blood. He cleansed the lepers, gave sight to the blind, and made the lame to walk. With his word, he cured the deaf and the dumb and the woman who was bent to the ground. He did this, O my wretched soul, so that thou might be saved. Have mercy on me, O God. Sickness, Christ the Word, preached the gospel to the poor, cured the crippled, ate with the publicans, and conversed with the sinners. And with the touch of his hand, he brought back the departed soul of Jairus' daughter. The publican was saved, and the harlot turned to chastity. But the Pharisee, with his boasting, was condemned. For the first cried out, Be merciful unto me, and the second, Lord, have mercy on me. But the third said in his vanity, I thank thee, O God, that I am not like them. In other words of madness. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. Zacchaeus was a publican, yet he was saved. But Simon the Pharisee went astray. While the harlot received remission and release from him who has the power to forgive all sins. Make haste then, O my soul, to follow her example. Thou hast not imitated the harlot, O my wretched soul, who took the alabaster jar of myrrh, and with tears anointed the feet of the Savior, and wiped them with her hair. For this he tore up the handwriting of her sin. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. Thou knowest, O my soul, how the cities to which Christ offered the gospel were cursed, Fear their example and their punishment, for the Master likened them to Sodom and condemned them all to hell. Do not be overcome with despair, O my soul, for thou hast heard of the faith of the woman of Canaan, and how her daughter was healed by the word of God. Cry out like her from the depth of thy heart, O son of David, save me, as she once cried to Christ. Have mercy on me, O Save me, have mercy on me, O son of David, who dost heal the man possessed by demons with thy word, and let me hear thy compassionate voice speak to me as to the thief. Truly I say unto thee, thou shalt be with me in paradise, when I shall come in my glory. One thief reviled thee, and the other thief confessed thy divinity, while each was hanging on his cross. So open even unto me, O most compassionate one, the door of thy glorious kingdom. As to thy believing thief, 
who acknowledge thee as God. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. All of creation was in anguish, seeing thee crucified. The mountains and the rocks fell asunder from fear. The earth did quake, hell was laid bare, and the light grew dark in the middle of the day. Seeing thee, O Jesus, nailed to the cross, do not require of me worthy fruits of repentance, for my strength has failed within me. Rather grant me an ever contrite heart and a poor and simple spirit, that I may offer them to thee as a pleasing sacrifice, O only Savior. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. O my judge, who knowest me, look upon me with thy merciful eye when thou comest again with the angels to judge the whole world and spare me. Take pity on me, O Jesus, for I have sinned more than any other. Astonished both the ranks of angels and the assemblies of men by their wondrous life, O Mother Mary. For by living in the Spirit, thou hast surpassed all nature, and like the bodiless angel, thou hast crossed the river Jordan as if it as if with immaterial feet. Intercede with the Creator for us who sing thy praises, O Venerable Mother Mary, that we may be set free from the sufferings and afflictions that assail us from every side, and that being delivered from misfortunes, we may unceasingly magnify the Lord, who has glorified thee. Venerable Andrew, thrice blessed Father, Shepherd of Crete, Cease not to pray to God for those who sing of thee, that he may deliver from anger, oppression, corruption, and our countless sins, all of us who faithfully honor thy memory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Trinity, one in essence, tri-personal unity, we sing thy praise. Glorifying the Father, magnifying the Son, and adoring the Spirit, who are truly one God by nature, life and lives, kingdom unending. Protect this city, spotless mother of God, for in thee it faithfully reigns, and in thee it is made strong. And through thee it conquers and routs every trial and temptation, and spoils its foes and rules its subjects. Conception without sin, Thy name forever, 
yea, forever and ever. Lord, thou hast been our refuge in generation and generation. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. O Lord, unto thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. For in thee is the fountain of life, in thy light we shall see light. O oh, continue thy mercy unto them that know me. Thou safe, O oh Lord, keeps us this day without sin. Blessed art thou, O oh Lord, God of our fathers, and praise and glorify this thy name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy be upon us, O oh Lord, even as we have set our hope in thee. Blessed art thou, O oh Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Master, make me to understand thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, enlighten me with thy statutes. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. O despise not the works of thy hands. To thee belong his worship, to thee belong his praise. To thee belong his glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our morning prayer unto the Lord. Have mercy on us and keep us, O God, by thy grace. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. An angel of peace, the faithful God, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. and peaceful and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, never Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. Passion and love for mankind. And unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. It is good to confess thee, O Lord, and to offer praise to thy name, O Most High, to proclaim thy mercy in the morning, and thy truth by night. It is good to confess thee, O Lord, and to offer praise to thy name, O Most High, to proclaim thy mercy in the morning and thy truth by night. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, plunge us from our sins. Master, for our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Standing in the temple of thy glory, we think that we are in heaven. O Theotokos, thou art the heavenly gate. 
Open unto us the door of thy mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and into ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement, thou givest birth to God the Word. True veil talk as we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Blessed be he who is Christ our God always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O heavenly King, be the support of our believing authorities. Confirm their faith, God our nation and all nations. Give peace to the world and preserve well our holy churches. Grant repose to our departed brethren in the dwelling place of the righteous. Receive us in repentance and confession, as thou art gracious and lovest mankind. O Lord and Master of my life, take me from me the spirit of laziness, despair, lust for power, and idle talk. But give rather the spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to me, thy servant. Yes, Lord and King, grant that I may see my own sins and not to judge my brother. For blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God, and our holy, sure hope. Glory to thee. Saints Nicholas, the wonder worker, Archbishop of Myra and Nicaea, of our venerable father Andrew of Crete, and our venerable mother Mary of Egypt, and of the venerable John de Capolitis, whose memory we keep this day, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and he loves Sisters to just say what he said. 
I mean, what more can we really add to these beautiful words? Um, and I don't, I, don't, I don't wish to add anything to them, but just to express um, the wisdom of our Holy Church and how sometimes it's a real crucifixion for our own reasonings. This fifth week of Lent, when we're sort of deep into Lent, I don't know about you, but one of the things I have to really fight against is taking it easy on myself. Like sort of taking my foot off the gas, saying, you know, it's been a long Lent, I think I'll just kind of back off a little bit. Am I the only one? Maybe. Okay, public confession. <laughs> but what's the attitude of our church? It gives us the entire canon of St. Andrew to be offered on this fifth week. It says, no, 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 go deeper. Don't back away, go deeper. Enter more deeply into this great mystery of God's deep love and compassion for us. His healing mercy. Seek repentance. And to me, again, if I had my way, uh, I would probably do, go the opposite way. But that's the beauty of being in the church. We put ourselves under the light yoke of Jesus Christ, and we allow him to guide us. Uh, and we can make provisions, like tonight, you saw the first and the ninth ode were full. The rest were abbreviated. So we can get a taste of what a full um, ode of the canon feels like. Uh, how Andrew um, goes through the scriptural references and helps sort of guide us along uh, to repentance and allowing our bodies to participate in it through uh, our prostrations, if we're able. Uh, and I will admit to you, brothers, I know that tomorrow morning I'm going to wake up and I'm going to feel this. Uh, but hopefully, in feeling it, I'll think to myself, okay, Stephen, there's a couple weeks left to go. Don't give up now. Don't take your foot off the gas. Press towards Jesus Christ. You know, not thinking I'm a superman, but just in humility coming before Christ and saying, Lord, help me. Stretch out your hand to me as you once did to Peter. Allow some of these words to penetrate our hearts and hopefully motivate our actions and our behaviors. So that's the word I have for you all tonight. Uh, tomorrow morning, uh, uh, there will be a presanctified liturgy at Holy Apostles Orthodox Church in Mechanicsburg. Um, I sent that out in the email. It's an update. Originally, it was going to be in Frackville, but it's now going to be at Holy Apostles in Mechanicsburg. Uh, His uh, Eminence, Archbishop Mark, will be there along with a clergy from throughout our deanery. Uh, and uh, obviously, all of the services of the church are public. So if any of you want to come uh, to that uh, presanctified liturgy, if that starts at 10 a.m., because there's a lot of people traveling in uh, from uh, throughout our deanery. So that'll start at 10 uh, a.m. On Friday evening, we'll have the Akathist uh, at 6.30 uh, p.m., the Akathist uh, to the Mother of God. Um, and I just want to say one word of encouragement. Um, these services are meant to penetrate our hearts deeply, uh, and they're supposed to penetrate them, uh, hopefully, from a young age. And I just really want to commend our parents who are bringing their children uh, to these services. It is a sacrifice in its heart. This is like the witching hour for children. It, it's just what it is. That's, that, this is a time that's very hard. But they're making that beautiful sacrifice of bringing their children here so that they, their hearts can be penetrated by the words of these services. And so I just want to say, I know it's hard. We love you. Keep up the good work. Okay? God bless you. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us.